Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 43, Enum. In this episode, you'll learn how to implement an attribute with Enum. If you'd like to code along, you can clone the Ruby Thursday example app with this branch, which is the Ruby Snack just before this one where we use the Ruby Thursday example app. That's Ruby Snack number 42. Then, of course, you CD into Ruby Thursday, bundle, and Rails DB Create, DB Migrate. So, what is enum if you haven't heard of it before? You can declare an enum attribute where the values map to integers in the database, but can be queried by name. This reduces the amount of code needed to define helpers when defining states, and integers are smaller for database storage. You're not saving all those strings, you're saving integers. You can find more information about enum and more examples at this link for the Rails docs. Now let's put it into our app. We're going to update our feature spec for create crew member evaluation. We're going to add that you're going to select acceptable as a rating for the crew member. And then we'll add an expectation that the rating should equal acceptable. Since we're using enum, we're not saying that the rating equals any integer, even though that's the data type it's being saved as we're going to be able to use acceptable or whatever the rating is anywhere in our app. Opening up the app in our text editor, let's go to our spec then features and then to that create crew member evaluation spec. Let's put it in just after we fill in the evaluation assessment. So we'll select acceptable there. Then we'll add in that expectation after crew member ID. We'll add a comma and then the rating expectation. Let's run our spec to make sure it fails in the way we expect it to. We expect it not to be able to select acceptable. That's not been put into our form yet. And indeed, it cannot find the option acceptable. Now we need to update our evaluations form. We're going to use options for select in order to select the rating for the evaluation. Options for select takes in an array, and then within that array, you can have arrays of what you want to be available for selection. Within that array, you can have two elements. The first element is what will show to the person filling out the form. The second one will be what is fed into the controller to save. In our case, we're going to capitalize each rating, but then feed a lowercase one into the controller. We're just going to have three ratings, poor, acceptable, and excellent. Let's open up that form. We go to forms, then evaluations, then form. And our scaffold produced a lot of these things already, but we're going to replace what they put in with what we want. So let's copy this and paste in the new form fill, which includes options for select. Now let's run our spec again and see where we are see if we are passing or if there's something else to do. And there is. The spec expects the attribute to be an integer because we haven't put enum in yet. All you need to do to put in enum is to put it into your model. You have enum and then whatever attribute you're putting as an enum, in our case rating, and then you have an array of all of the options and those will be symbols. Poor will save as 0, acceptable as 1, and excellent as 2. If you need to add another one, I suggest adding it at the end. It's a little bit tricky to update everything if you put it in the middle, but it can be done. Back in our text editor, let's open up the evaluation model, and we simply need to copy in to define that enum. Let's run our spec again and see if now it's saving correctly. And it is our spec passes. Here are some resources you can check out. Again, here is a link to read more about enum. And then here is a link to read more about options for select. Thanks so much for watching this Ruby snack. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to Ruby Thursday to sign on up to get more awesomeness in your inbox. If you are not already subscribed to YouTube, go ahead and click that big red button to do so. If you have any comments, go ahead and head on over to YouTube to leave those. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.